The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome to Canadian Cigar Scene with your hosts, Julian Luke and Kevin Newell. Right here on Reality Radio 101. To contact us live by telephone dial 905 725 1907. Toll free. Anywhere, and we mean anywhere, in North America. 1 866 905 7325. Worldwide, 1 866 Six five six five four seven seven. Email us right now, Reality Radio One Hundred One at yahoo dot com. And now, your hosts of Canadian Cigar Scene, Kevin Newell and Julian Luke. Yo, 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 everybody. Welcome to another edition of Canadian Cigar Scene. I'm sitting here with the Sultan of Swat, the the man with the hand. I thought you were going to say sexy at one point. I was going to punch you right across the table. <laughs> Please, dude. I'm far more sexy sitting beside you. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've been fired. You've absolutely been fired. How you doing, you? I'm doing good. You? Good, good. What's going on? What's happening? Uh, year end. You know how it is. Year end of VC. But we've taken time off to come and educate the populace about uh, the wonderful world of cigars in Canada, and that's what we're all about. But i got a question. I think Reality Radio needs another telephone number. Yeah. I don't think there are enough telephone numbers in the introduction. Yeah. How, Maybe, many, how many numbers? That, that, was, that was at least three or four. Yeah, well, I, wait. Now we got text numbers coming in. We're going to have all kinds of other numbers when the new equipment gets all So so, so we're going to need to extend the show to an hour just so Gary can do the intro intro for all the phone numbers. And you guys will have a computer in there, by the way, doing your own thing. Really? Yeah, you're monitoring. We're not doing it. You're going to check your own emails, everything. everything. I'm liking it. Well, the emails flood in, and we never get a chance to answer them. So it's like... So you'll be doing everything. You have to do a show every couple months and answer the emails. I's going to be on the interweb. Oh, God, fuck. You'll never get off of it. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. Um... It was cool. I was driving home from work on Saturday, and Whiskey in the Jar came on the freaking radio. How awesome was that? Oh, Isn't oh that the God. best? I'm driving down the road with a gar. You're expecting my voice. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> if you hear you do karaoke Whiskey in the Jar, <laughs> oh, oh God. He liquored up. Yeah. Jagermeister is a wonderful uh, improvement. Oh, yeah. It is. It's uh, quite the lubricant. Um, I'm looking at our uh, our worldwide listeners. Holy cow, what a spike. We're at epic numbers right now. We're getting up there. Epic numbers. We're getting up there. I mean, we pulled in listeners now from uh, new countries. Armenia. Uh, we still got some from Cuba, Austria. Fiji. I think Fiji's new. Uh, Honduras. Laos. We, we need to get Gary to let us know if these are males or females yeah. listening. Because, I mean, you know, Armenia, I'm not hopeful in either <laughs> one. <but> <laughs> Fiji? <laughs> that could be very positive. <laughs> Jew, you're a dead man. I'm dead. <laughs> That's right. Um, other than that, uh, nothing going on in the, in the news these days. Anything? Anything? Can we be... introduce our guest? Like, curious. I mean, he's sitting here wondering what the hell is he here and we, for. And we were late. I mean, our, the yeah, Guinness was a, Guinness was a little slow tonight. Yes, wasn't it was. It? But anyway, we have a fantastic guest coming in all the way from the Peterborough area. Uh, please uh, put your hands together, everybody, and welcome Murray Henderson from Woo! SDG. Yeah, baby. How you guys. doing, Murray? How you doing? Good, man. Murray is our uh, our sales uh, sales rep for uh, Scandinavian Tobacco Group, a uh, company out of Montreal, correct? Yes, Longay. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, Small company, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tiny little 
tobacco company, Mom, Mom right? and Pop outfit? Yeah, Mom and Pop. Well, I guess one of the largest in the world. But They just started, right? <laughs> they just been in business, what, a couple weeks? A couple weeks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're a monster people. This is the behemoth. This is the, the gargantuan, the uh, Muto, the Godzilla of tobacco companies. They are uh, big. I mean, let's talk about let's talk about uh, um, tobacco. Uh, I mean, what are we repping in cigars? We're, we got well, geez, you know. we've we've got uh, the Macanudo, mm-hmm. Don Tomas, uh, Don Sebastian. Mm-hmm. Um, Don't forget CAO. CAO, of course. Yeah, W and D's. And then you have your, um, you know, your sort of your C store more to more the yeah yeah. You know, your, well, we have Toronio. Yeah, Tarani- uh, but yeah. then yeah, C store of course Colts, mm-hmm. uh, Colts Mild Colts. They're pretty well known in Canada, of course. They've been there for forty five years. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Old Port, which yep. was the original name of the company, Old Port Cigar Company, until okay. Scandinavian Tobacco uh, came in and, and took over. So, oh, okay. Yeah. What is? Do you know the history of the company? I mean, because I mean, there's been so many sort of takeovers here and there that it just sort of grew into this well, this monster, didn't it? Yeah, I know. Uh, back, I, I think it was 15 or 16 years ago, Old Port Cigar Company was formed in Canada. Okay, and they took over Colts. Uh, an old port from uh, one of the c- cigarette companies. Mm-hmm. And uh, from there, basically, it, it grew into STG. STG took over. Um, I, I'm not even, I'm not going to give you a date because mm-hmm. I can't remember how long it's been now, but um, it's been since I've been doing the long filler business, which okay. is over five years now. So. Okay. Yeah. And how did, how, yourself, how did you get into the business itself? I was fishing with a buddy. <laughs> no, there's where it always <laughs> starts. <laughs> Having a beer. And it went fishing. off the rails. Yeah. Well, I was a beer rep. Yep. And uh, I did my own art for a long time, a professional artist. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I decided I want to get back on the road and get into the real world. And uh, I was fishing with a buddy, and he actually was telling me he was selling Colts. I said, oh, Colts. Geez, I used to smoke Colts mild on the bus trips in hockey and mm-hmm. lacrosse. And, sure. And uh, I said, are they hiring? And, and basically that's how it all came about because they were. I was lucky, and uh, okay. 10 years later. So you've been with the company ten years, and you've been doing five years in the uh, in the premium business. Yeah, yeah. We call ourselves STRs, Specialty Tobacconist Reps. Okay. So yes, and we are part of the Lions Club. That yes, makes that makes us STs. You are, <laughs> yes, the Lions Club. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's used for the term is used. It's it's basically a group of the the basically the premium tobacconists in Canada. Yes, top twenty five in all of Canada. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, good and stuff. You guys are up there. Well, we're trying to get. We're trying to crack the top twenty five. <laughs> Anyways, we're working hard at it. Uh, you know what? I, I I look at some of these brands. I mean, you guys have had these things, these guys going for a long time, and and, and uh, it, it's always nice. I mean, when you're talking about, you know, I'm just joking when I talk about a monstrous company, but by the same token, I like the idea that they do take the time to give a damn about, you know, premium tobacco, and oh, yeah. that'll put reps on the road just to monitor what's going on and to help us out in our business, it, it means a lot. It just shows that the company really gives a damn, you know? Yeah, and I believe Canada was the first specialty tobacco team. Now is, it's worldwide. I mean, they, Is that yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, you guys have been on the trip mm-hmm. to uh, General Cigar, and they, they put you through some really, really cool steps. And you actually you roll your own cigars right from, from the field right to the end. Yeah, which, uh, what Murray's talking about is uh, we had the ability last year or the year before? Two years now. Two years ago? Time flies. I can't believe it. Uh, to f- to go down with uh, a, a group from um, from STG down to uh, Dominican Republic, down to uh, where did we go in, in the DR? Where was it? Um, Santiago. 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 Yeah. Santiago. And that's where General has uh, one of their big factories. And, uh, you know, we had the ability to go to the farms, uh, basically seed to finish product. Um, went through. Yeah, I mean, they just treated us like royalty too. It was fantastic. Mm-hmm. I mean, now did you guys roll your own mac and noodles? Did a roller? Own, I still have some in my humidor. Yeah, I got mine too. Yeah. I was going to bring them tonight, but I thought you guys probably had. Well, your own. that wouldn't have done you very well. <laughs> now, what a Gary! <laughs> <laughs> you were down there with sorry our, our old buddy Joe Cardi. Yeah, I good old Joe. There's a beauty right there, right? I, I've got yeah, a picture. Shout of out jo- to Joe. I've got a picture of Joe getting his diploma from Tobacconist U. So he did graduate. <laughs> he folks. graduated. Yes. <laughs> That's right. Shout Shout out to you, Joe. You're a good man. Um, so, uh, yeah, that was a great trip. And, I mean, they do, uh, you know, it's, SDG does take care of their, uh, their, you know, their reps and their retailers as far as, you know, offering up certain programs and stuff like that, which is great to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, we're, we're happy to, to help you guys out. That's right. <laughs> that's right. Um, you know, we talk about stuff like, uh, you know, the CAO. I look at the CAO line and I, th- and I see, you know, there's always something new coming up. You know, I mean, they had the... Uh, 
you know, some of my favorite stuff was the uh, the Flathead Steel Horse, mm -hmm. the Bull Neck and the Ape Hanger. Those were, for me, I mean, that was, for me, that was one of the best cigars that came out last year. Yeah. I love that cigar. And yeah, yet, and it's doing very well. And, yeah. and I mean, um, what it, my favorite is the act, act, the La Travietta. I love yeah. the La Travietta brand. Yeah. I just, to me, they're the, the perfect cigars for me, for yeah. my taste. Yeah, everybody's, um, yeah, and they've got and, a, such a wide range of, you know, flavor profiles yeah. and strengths that... Yeah. Now the flathead, uh, yeah, of course it's it's done really well. Um, you had a quite a, quite the surprise last year when when they came out with the top twenty five and, yeah, and cigar fish, cigar fish and yeah. auto. You got number three with the uh, six sixty carb, eh? Carb, yes, and it's uh, it, it of course that helped sales and. Uh, I think we were out of stock for a while, but we're back now. So well, it doesn't <laughs> take much, eh? I mean, you get that, you get that, you know, top ten rating, and you got, I mean, getting a number three rating, boom! Exactly. You guys, it must have just flown off the shelves. Yeah, it was great. It was yeah. really good. Yeah. And we knew it was going to do well. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a very good cigar. It is. It's a great smoke. We had the, uh, we had the pleasure last year at the IPCPR of talking with uh, Ricky. I can't remember Ricky's last name. Rodriguez. Rodriguez, yeah. uh, master blender, and uh, you know, tell it was great just sitting there. I mean, we talked with him for. Uh, hour, hour and a half, just talking about blends of, you know, the different CAO products, the new Pilon that came out, um, and talking about the Amazon Basin. That was just just some great stories. I mean, the yeah. Amazon Basin story is incredible. I mean, yeah. just, you know, they ship this tobacco in, out of the Amazon Basin, and what do they harvest it once every uh, four years? Four years, years? Yeah, yeah, it's so, ridiculous. So it won't be available again until, yeah. you know. A few I, years from now, I so. think they just did a harvest. I think okay. they just uh, they they just got a harvest. So I think it's they're talking about another year, another yeah. at least another two years before they we see another uh, a batch of those. But I mean, just in the remote areas of uh, of the Amazon in Brazil, and it's incredible that they even would think to you know find tobacco from there. And you know, just a visionary, Ricky is of uh, in his blending techniques. It's one, of those, it's one of those cigars that when it came into the shop, it was like boom, gone. Yes. Yeah. You know. So well, I've yet to I have yet to meet him, but I've heard a lot of good yeah, things. Yeah, very about him, very so. nice guy. Yeah. Very nice guy. So, you know, you have quite the storied uh, history when it comes to like you know junior hockey and lacrosse. I mean, you're athlete through and through. You know, you're still playing the game, right? <laughs> I mean, old Bowmanville boy, yeah. right? Oh yeah. Well, you know, I yeah, I'm still playing lacrosse. I'm 48 years old, and I'm still out there. And we've actually got a guy on our team 68 years old. And we're still running around, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, man. That's crazy. And, and you're an avid fisherman? Oh, big time, yeah. Yeah. Fishing was, tournaments all summer. Is that your passion? My passion is fishing, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I know that you, uh, you've you had some tragedy in your life with your yes. with your daughter. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, well, we yeah we lost Courtney uh, in 2009 okay. uh, to cancer. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we actually do uh, have a, uh, a thing to honor her memory. We call it Courtney's Legacy Fund, and mm -hmm. we do a fishing tournament every year, which is a celebrity event. Um, and uh, we also, this year, have a 24-hour lacrosse marathon, <laughs> Great which, which I'm going to try to get these two to come out and run for, even if it's 10 minutes. Cradle, 20, 24 <laughs> minutes, maybe. <laughs> no, I'll have 24 seconds. Cradle for a cure, right? Yes, that's yeah. it. Yeah. And where's that taking place? Uh, Peterborough Memorial Center. Okay. Uh, June 10th and 11th. Okay. So, is there yeah. a website there or something that we can find out for? Yeah. Um, Cradle for, I think it's Cradle, Cradle for, for a Cure. Dot dot webs dot com. Okay. So check yes. this out, people. Check this out. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a fantastic uh, a fantastic thing to support for everybody. Um, so you're going to have celebrities. You're going to have games. You're going to have. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, the celebrities are all lacrosse celebrities. So mm -hmm. um, anybody who is in the in the lacrosse community knows Sean Evans was voted number one in the world, and he's a big part of our event. Wow. Um, and uh, you know, every year for my the, the other the other event we hold is a fishing event, and it's full of celebrities. We've had uh, uh, Corey Perry, mm -hmm. um, we've had uh, Brian Bickle, um, you know, just uh, uh, numerous stars like Eddie Shack and. And, and those guys come out, There's Dennis Hall. Those guys come out and do, you know, speaking after our dinner sometimes. That's yeah. fantastic. It's just, it's been really cool. And uh, we've been able to raise, you know, thousands of dollars for, for children. Uh, that's what our main thing is, is uh, Childhood Cancer Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and Courtney's Legacy Fund, which we help families mm -hmm. in need with kids going through cancer. So That's, a, that's, that's terrific that you yeah. do that, Murray. That's yeah. Kudos that's to you. Thanks. Absolutely. Um, I think what we'll do after, we're going to uh, have a quick break for a uh, quick... Uh, pay a couple bills here and we're going to come back and talk a little bit about artwork okay sure just to let everybody know you're listening to canadian cigar scene on reality radio 101 mm -hmm. 
When you visit Peacock Lumber, you will step back in time to a place where purchasing wood products was simple, efficient, and pleasant. In our office, you can view our large selection of moldings and receive advice from knowledgeable sales staff. Once you have decided on your order, you can pick up your materials in our drive through yard or utilize our delivery service. For pickups, take your vehicle out to our traditional lumber yard where someone is always there to assist you. If you are accustomed to purchasing wood products at a box store, you will be impressed by the variety, selection, and quality of products that we offer and the ease in which you get your vehicle loaded and get you on your way. Peacock Lumber is conveniently located on eight acres in central Oshawa. It was started in 1939 by Victor Peacock and remains family owned and operated. If you need quality wood products for your renovation, please call us at 905-725-4744. That's 905-725-4744. Or for a full list of products and prices, go to www.peacocklumber.ca. Come to Peacock Lumber first to get the price, selection, quality, and service that you expect. The following program may contain adult language and mature subject matter and does not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of Reality Radio 101, its advertisers and sponsors, or its listening audience. Listener discretion is strongly advised. Welcome back to Canadian Cigar Scene with your host, Kevin Newell and Julian Luke, right here on Reality Radio 101. Send us an email, realityradio101 at yahoo.com. And now, right back to Julian and Kevin. We are back, everybody. Uh, we're gonna go for gonna go through a quick uh, couple of events and uh, talk a little jargon here, and then we'll be back with Murray. Okay, Jew? Yeah. Make sure you get a pencil to jot these down, folks. Boom. There you go. Jeez, it wouldn't be a week without that, would it? Uh, our cigar of the week. Jeez. Uh, In honor of Murray. Absolutely. Is the CAO America the Potomac? Uh, fantastic little barber pole. You know what? I'm more of a true medium body, just a touch past medium. But nice bit of sweetness. I really enjoy that cigar. So uh, get in there. We've got a, a great special on the uh, CAO America, the Potomac, or some people call it the Potomac. Potomac. Yes. Uh, Cornell and Dio Autumn Evening is our featured pipe tobacco of the week as well. So uh, come on in and check that out, too. It's got a, uh, it's got hints of maple syrup in it, so it's kind of a neat thing. Creamy leather. Mm, leathery cream. Uh, events. Saturday, April 2nd, Victory Cigars will be hosting a, an event with uh, Simon... The Saint. Temperley. Uh, the Quattro Cinco, we are relaunching it by Hoya de Nicaragua. So get in on uh, on this Saturday. Uh, we're going to have some deals and some prizes and all that Holy good cow, stuff. Holy it is this Saturday, I know, frickin' April, eh? Gotta love it. Um, next Saturday, we're going to have uh, Deanna from Cretec in. We're going to be doing some, uh, it's Asylum Day at, uh, at BC, so we're going to be doing the new Lancero and Everyday Hustle. That Lancero is off the charts. Oh, my God. What a great smoke. I love the Lanceros. Yeah. Uh, thanks again to the folks at Cretup for hosting us at uh, a, Mamba- a Mambacho launch of uh, Liga Maestro by uh, by uh, the guys at Mambacho. It was fantastic. Thanks again to um, Marcus and the boys. Yeah, and a great video with Claudio in it, too. Yeah, it was really yeah, cool. really good promotional video. Really cool. Claudio, you're a star. I think Lara must have had something to do with that. I think so. There's the better half. Uh, new stuff at Victory. Uh, we got this great new, uh, it's called Warthog Ale Beard Soap. It's uh, it's like 12 bucks a cake. It's for uh, those folks that decide that they can actually grow a beard and, and uh, want to take care of it. Uh, get in and take care of your beard, folks. Uh, we've also got this really cool thing. If you smoke in your car, 
<laughs> like I do. Uh, we have this new Lamborghini anti-tobacco car diffuser. You, uh, you just plug it into the old uh, cigarette lighter, and Bob's your uncle. You know, gets rid of that sort of that tobacco smell in the car. So. You know, and for, of course, I like it when it rains after I've had a gar in the car and I wake up going in the morning. It's got that. <laughs> That's right. Oh, that that must. Smell. That's right. Cigar scene happenings over to you, Jew. Well, there's not a lot uh, that I want to mention right now because I want to take the time to give a shout out to somebody we, we've mentioned before. But our friend Akil Ramatu, uh, Ra- Ratamtula. Raham well, Tula, I'm well, going to get well, that right. Well, Akil, well, everybody knows him as Akil. I never knew he had a last name. But he's the owns the Sleuth and Statesman, uh, King Street West in the Exchange Tower in Toronto. Um, he's been going through uh, a lot of this store because, uh, as it is in commercial real estate, from time to time you get told you have to move whether you like it or not. And so he's still going to be in the Exchange Tower, but he's moving locations, got a big renovation ahead of him. So, folks, if you're in downtown Toronto, especially in the financial district near the Exchange uh, Tower, make sure you go in and see Akil. He truly is one of the best uh, BOTLs in the industry. You can look him up online, sleuthandstatesman.com. And before I forget, too, uh, dear friend, friend of ours, Patricia, has been going through a hard time. Patricia Shimanowski, uh, they had a heck of a medical uh, issue that came up last week. We understand she's on the mend, and we just want to shout out our love to her and let her and Mark know we're thinking of them every day. Hang in there, kids. They're good kids, too. So is her dad. Hey, yeah. That's a beauty. Um, and not to just include their mom or the rest of their family. Would you get okay, back to the sorry, show? Sorry, I digress. Jesus. Murray, how you doing, man? Oh, good. How Very you good. doing? How you doing? This is crazy. You're an artist. Yeah, cigarist. Cigarist. I love it. I like how, it. How, how did this? How did this start out? You know, it just it's natural. I really? grew up with the the talent, and I okay, yeah, uh, just sort of picked up a pencil one day, yeah. and away you went. At kindergarten, I was at grade eight level. That's what they told. Is me. that right, eh? So it just came naturally, and I always, you know. I was that and phys ed were the only two uh, things <laughs> in school I did well at. So. <laughs> you excel that. Yeah. Was there a beer drinking course? Well, I would have probably done well there too. <laughs> Accelerate. No, but but think about this. So he he majored in art. Majored in art and phys ed, then became a beer rep and a cigar rep. The oh, yeah. guy's never worked a day in his life. <laughs> I know. You got it, Eric. You're not listening, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he works his ass off, Eric. His ass. Um, okay, so let's let's do the progression here. So you, mm-hmm. so uh, where did you where did your art take you? Well, uh, I did my first print and made a lot of money on it, and I didn't realize until then that. You know, you could make money at art. Uh, mm-hmm. I did a John Lennon painting in grade 12 okay. in Calgary, and I, all my teachers bought it, mm-hmm. and they were paying me 40 bucks each, which, <laughs> you know. You, <laughs> That's so, awesome. You know, so I, I, awesome. I sold, like, I, I don't know, 25 prints to my teachers, and oh then my God. from there, it, it went pretty good. And um, when I moved back to Ontario from Alberta, uh-huh. um, I... I realized that, you know, hockey, of course, is pretty big in this country. I don't know if you guys know that. but um, Apparently. There was a big uh, a big fight in the NHL with Wendell Clark and Marty McSorley. It's a beauty. And Never forget it. I actually got in touch with a friend of mine who's the Leaf photographer. Mm-hmm. I got his photos of that fight, and I created the, the fight scene. Okay. It, and it's, it was titled Gone But Not Forgotten, autographed by Wendell. And we sold uh, 600 before he was traded. And that was when I realized, you know what, there's uh, something going on here. There's so. a market. Yeah. And then um, I did one with the Hanson Brothers from the movie Slapshot, and okay. it sold out. Um, I've got one uh, with all the tough guys in the NHL, which is uh, titled Hockey Fights Cancer with Paul Stewart. And it's got like all the tough guys, and it's autographed by 10 of them. That's that, crazy. That so how, how many guys are in the fight? Uh, uh, or in the, oh in the, in the, uh, in the print? See if I can go through them. There's Don Cherry, uh, Tiger Williams, uh, John Ferguson, Ted Lindsay, uh, Con Smythe, wow. who's, who's one of the coaches on the bench with Don Cherry. Okay. Uh, you know, just basically all the tough guys. Right? We sure. got Semenko, we got um, the Hammer Schultz, Pro, Probert. Probert, Domi, mm-hmm. Clark, Wendell. Uh, mm-hmm. We've got, uh, you know, just uh, all of them. And, and what happened okay. is we got in touch with them and, and uh, told them what it was for, mm-hmm. for Hockey Fights Cancer. And we ended up getting uh, eleven signatures. On That's the print. awesome. Did you have a heart with the, were the guys receptive to oh, it? Incredible. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I was here in Oshawa with Terry O'Reilly in his mom's basement signing prints, and really, um, oh, yeah. that's incredible. Ted Lindsay was a, one of the most gentleman guys I've ever met. Really. Um, and I had my my girls with me, my wife and my 
two daughters with me at all, almost all the signings, and they were all gracious. These big, tough, mean guys yep. were the nicest guys I ever met. Is that right? So, yeah. And uh, it went really well from there. So, and how did that launch? I mean, how did you get it out there? Well, it actually happened by mistake. It was a Canadian press story, went across Canada, and uh, radio shows and TV shows and Hockey Night in Canada and everything. It, it, it went crazy for two or three days. So people were phoning me for interviews, and, and uh, you know, I had to be on TV and, and on radios and wow. the fan radio back then. And um, I had to hire, hire my mother-in-law, actually, to uh, take orders. Is that right? And it went crazy went really well and and because of that my wife heather and i were able to go to the all-star game on the nhl for five years in a row and it was like unbelievable well that's very nice of yeah them. yeah so all told how many how many how many copies of that print have you sold do you know um, any idea i, I know I, well let's put it this way i i donated um well over a hundred thousand to the nhl wow that's fantastic and, uh, i have i have another print actually i did out of hockey that's raised well over a million dollars for Ducks Unlimited Canada. What? So, uh, Unbelievable. It, it's, it, unfortunately, um, I don't get any of the money. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? It's, it's nice to know that my art has, has helped a lot of different causes. So. That's incredible. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah, pretty neat. So where do, you see it, where do you see it going from here? I think the cigar business is a great spot for yep. my heart. Um, what do you got planned? Well, I got, I got some, uh, you know, being in the business now, and it is such a niche, such a, a, a specialty market, and the, and the guys who truly love cigars, they all want something to do with cigars in their house somewhere, I think. Uh, yeah, so either, either the guy's yeah. got a spot in his garage or he's got a man cave in man the basement cave. and exactly. he's looking for something. Guys are always <laughs> looking for stuff to put up on their walls, right? Yeah, so I, I've uh, come up with a whole bunch of different pieces, and... I've got one actually, or I actually had four different ones where anybody into cigars can send me a picture of themselves. I'll create the picture of them actually in a cigar scene. And mm. I, I just do that kind of stuff because, you know, sometimes people, uh, it's their passion, right? Yeah. So, oh, for, oh yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah, I got, I got a website. Well, let's find <laughs> out what the web, what is the website? It's um, artofcigars.webs.com artofcigars.webs.com. Yeah, and it just shows all the different, you know, I've got some with uh, famous smokers. I've got tobacco field scenes. Okay, don't worry about jotting that down, people, if you didn't if you didn't get that. That'll be posted on our website as well, um, uh, Victory Cigars website, So you'll, and or you can just contact us at the shop as well to, uh, to uh, find out about this. So you can actually send in a picture, and you'll do a personalized yeah, art, yeah, piece I'll, of artwork. Yeah, you know, I mean, I've done it for a few people, and... Uh -huh. uh, uh, it's kind of a neat little way where they get uh, it's a I call it a original, so it's a print with an original on it. Okay. Right? So yeah. So there's three or four. I think there's four different scenes you can pick from, and I can you know paint you in it. And you're smoking a cigar, of course. And Very cool. Yeah. Because I mean that's uh I, I mean first of all you know you you would never see a pit you know there's no there's no art out there where people are smoking anymore because it's been you know it's been thrown underground right I mean. Mm -hmm. For somebody to have something personalized like that is pretty cool too, don't you think? Oh, I've definitely. Yeah. Can we get this stuff up on our our website yeah. too? I will get it up on the website. Um, it's not up yet. I'm just <laughs> checking. <laughs> I'm just checking. He's um, good. he's good at it though. Yeah. That's why I ask. If I ask him, he gets it done. You know. Um, so the uh, fight for the fight for the cure. Mm -hmm. We can uh, we can do uh, we can still buy that print. Is that still out there? Oh yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Eh? Um, all of your other artwork, can we? Is there? Is it all on the same website or? No, we actually, my my name, MurrayHenderson.com. That's my main website. Okay, that's where need, that's the most important spot. And I'm yeah. sure there's links for all your other stuff yeah, as well. Yeah, everything's on there. On there yeah. MurrayHenderson.com. People, check this stuff out. Uh, go to his website now and take a look, and uh, you'll see some amazing stuff. Murray is uh, truly a class act, and it's it's kind of neat to uh, just to uh, see what guys can do in the industry. You know, just. Uh, put it out there for charity is fantastic so you could sit and smoke a cigar with anybody you would want to smoke who would you smoke with oh jeez, you're gonna put that you guys absolutely <laughs> oh, wow. that's that that nice well you know what we might just do that right after the show what do you <laughs> I think, think we should. Joe? yeah what do you think um again murray thanks very much for uh for coming on and uh and sharing the gospel you know you guys do a great job at stg and uh you know yourself you know i'm continually seeing you and uh we gotta we're gonna book in a few events this summer and get some cao stuff rolling and uh and again can't say enough for uh what you guys do for the business and for the industry 
Oh, thank you. And can I say a shout out to the rest of the team, all the boys? Absolutely, you can. Yeah. Mike Davis. We got Sean Skelly out east. Scott Greenfield out in the west, and uh, a new rep, Mike in uh, Quebec. Hi to them all, and Eric and Eric Vincent in Montreal. Absolutely. <laughs> and Eric and Vincent, we hope to be meeting all these gentlemen along with Murray at the IPCPR in Vegas this year because we'd love to see all these guys down at the show. I know I know that a lot of these reps uh, or a lot of these uh, companies find the importance in, in bringing their reps to the to the uh, to show just to see what the business is all about on on the sales pers- it is a sales opportunity and it's a, on that sales perspective you really uh, become educated when you get to go to that IPCPR so I hope to see you down there that'd be great yeah absolutely well we'll put in a good word for you okay if we haven't already <laughs> again everybody uh, i think that uh, wraps it up for this week Jew, what do you think anything else to say anything else to finish off i know uh, just next week uh my namesake brother from another mother uh julian zadorozny from la casa del Halbano, toronto is going to be on the show we had a great time uh with him down in cuba at the uh, habanos festival looking forward to seeing him again we'll relive some of the stories if we can remember them eh? <laughs> yes uh, don't forget, folks, uh, email us at radio at victorycigars.ca. Uh, catch up with Julian. He's Horatio. I'm Victory Garman, uh, of course, on Twitter at Victory Cigars. Uh, check out our Facebook pages and Instagram pages. Um, there's always stuff going on there. Uh, upcoming guests and past shows at www.cigarscene.ca. Again, folks, realityradio101.com, and this is Canadian Cigar Scene. It is now time to have a cigar. Thanks for listening to Canadian Cigar Scene with your hosts, Julian Luke and Kevin Newell, right here on Reality Radio 101.